Lamp. Be straight. Why, hello there, a friend, friends, friends, and in, 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 okay, you know, that was unfortunate. And, and that was, and, and believe me when I say I am very sick and tired of making this video, and I'm, I'm ready to just get it over with now. But anyway, why, hello there, hello, and thank you so much for stopping by my, my YouTube channel. Welcome, welcome. This is what I, this is the, the I couldn't tell you what it is, you know, I, honestly. In my neck of the woods, there's been a lot of this talk of this great opportunity offered at Herbalife, a company that is praised as the god of nutrition. It's a health and nutrition company, but where they differ from normal health and nutrition companies is they sell you an opportunity, and they make it seem like the bee's knees, all right? With confetti flying, music blaring, and the crowd cheering, the American dream seems alive and well at the diet and nutrition products company called Herbalife. Have a little fun, you know? This is Herbalife! And from a distance, it, 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 it may seem like heaven. It may, it may look like heaven. But in all reality, when you, pull the, when, you, when you peel all the layers back and you really get down to the nitty gritty, it is a spawn of Satan. And I'm here today to prove it to you that this is a very, 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 very bad thing to join. So without further ado, let's just jump right into it at number one. Now, I don't know about you, but whenever someone tells me that uh, a company has been investigated by the government twice, uh, I usually steer clear. As in... Good dude? You all right? All right, yeah, he's playing in the products. He's all right, anyway. No. Now, Herbalife was first investigated by the government way back in the 1980s when founder Mark R. Hughes was accused of making false products claims and false potential earnings claims. Founder Mark Hughes was accused of being dishonest and deceitful by recruiting distributors with exaggerated claims about getting rich. The second year, you'll make $125,000 and that's the least amount of money that you're gonna make. And fun fact, this is what the founder, Mark R. Hughes, had to say to the FDA. I think if they're so expert in weight loss, why were they so fat yesterday? It seems to me, and I'm not trying to make any jokes, but I do think that they ought to use our product. But right off the bat, you know, you got a great guy who founded a great company on great ideals. Now, regarding the most recent Herbalife investigation, the FTC called Herbalife into question in 2014. Numerous people coming forward saying that they've been cheated out of thousands of dollars. I was a Herbalife distributor for 18 months, spent well over $7,000. In the eight months that we were in, we lost $10,000. I was in Herbalife for about four months, to five months, and I lost between fourteen dollars and $18,000. Oh, it's over $45,000. And after enough people came forward, Herbalife was forced to pay $200 million to those, and I quote, wronged by Herbalife. And in the FTC's report, in fact, they stated that Herbalife needs to start operating legitimately from now on, which means they hadn't been already. And now this isn't, you know, anything new. Companies reach agreements with government agencies all the time. This is, you know, this is common. What is very strange is how the CEO approached the situation. Hey, we've got great news. Reached an agreement with the U.S. Federal Trade Commission that ensures that our mission to improve people's lives will continue to thrive. I have to tell you, this is really good news. And it comes at a time when our business is growing bigger and better than ever before. You know, yeah, you know, let's not even mention or apologize to the thousands of people we stole money from. And don't worry, I understand. It's not directly Herbalife's fault, all right? They're not all to blame. It's also the fault of the independent distributors who took advantage of these people. But some people in this business will take advantage. However, Herbalife needs to do a better job disciplining their independent distributors because this business is a prime target for scamming. And I guess I'll end this point off with saying that Michael Johnson, as of just recently, stepped down from the CEO position. Nothing, nothing strange about the, one of the highest paid CEOs in the world stepping down from his position.
What you'll undoubtedly notice from doing a little bit of research on this company is the immense disconnect between the actual company itself and its independent distributors. The company will say one thing and then the independent distributors will do literally the exact opposite thing. Perfect example of this is what uh, was uncovered during an ABC investigation in which reporters went undercover and attended multiple Herbalife events and went to Herbalife uh, nutrition shops. They caught footage of people saying that Herbalife helped cure inoperable brain tumors. This distributor in New York City told us the story of a woman who had an inoperable brain tumor. Whatever the, it is, the product did, it helped her a lot. Infertility, it helped a woman get pregnant. 40 years old, got my first pregnancy. Helped a woman with her inoperable uh, heart condition. Four years ago, I had early congestive heart failure. Nothing worked. You know, you got all the false earnings claims. And last month, I made almost eight, almost eight thousand dollars. Because of Herbalife, I'm able to buy my house, uh, a million dollar house, all cash paid for. I'm sorry, but who the hell buys their house in cash? I'm not saying I wouldn't take it, because I would. I'm just saying that. You know, some flags would be raised. However, when it got time for the ABC investigators to question Dan Walsh, the president of Herbalife, this is what he had to say. Walsh strongly denied its distributors are misled about the prospects of getting rich, saying most of them only want the product for themselves or a little extra income. The reality is that most people know that this is a wonderful way in which to pay for a 50 or $60 startup fee to earn a few hundred extra supplemental dollars a month. That is what we are selling. Is that really what you're selling though, is a part-time supplemental income? It appears what you're selling is you can get rich through Herbalife. And Brian, that is not our message. That is not our message. Let me tell you, that is just that is not our message. completely absurd. Not our message at all. I have to tell you, John, you know, did you, would you have ever guessed in a million years that we'd be making millions in this? Never, Leslie. It's unbelievable. That is not what we're telling people. As long as you're willing to work, Herbalife has a blueprint for success. Absolutely. And within two years, I started making over $10,000 a month. Incorrect. Uh, you make me sick. Listen, that is you not make, our message. Well, the fact that you would even think something like this. We are changing lives. The majority of your distributors do not make any money. They make less than a thousand bucks in an entire year, no commissions in a year. I'd say a thousand bucks? That's a lot of money. We're saving the world. We're saving the world. That is not our message. You just, I'm offended. I am completely offended. Listen, I understand Many of you Herbalife independent distributors watching this right now, you might you might be in denial. You might be saying to yourself, "This is this is just one big misunderstanding." All right, we're a good company. Just a few bad, just a, just a few bad apples. Just a few bad apples. Just a few. It's just a few bad apples. Don't associate us all. You know, the Herbalife executives are still hardworking, trustworthy people that have never, ever admitted to doing anything deceptive ever right <laughs> right they they'd they'd never openly admit in a in a closed doors meeting <laughs> that they would use deceptive sales the deceptive sales tactics <laughs> right <laughs> right let me tell you absolutely not as you will see in this never before seen video of a distributor training meeting attended by senior sales distributors and Herbalife executives including Vice President Mike McKee, Senior Vice President Rob Levy, Senior Vice President Bruce Peters, and board member Leslie Stanford. Herbalife makes profits through the use of intentionally deceptive tactics. You know, there's some people that if they heard that we were talking like this in a room, you know, I would have to have a, a bulletproof vest on right now. You know what I mean? <laughs> there are some people that, if they knew that I was openly discussing about stealing their money, I, I'd need a, I'd, I'd need a bulletproof vest on. I'd, I'd need. Uh, they'd be mad. They'd be angry. Could you, <laughs> could you even believe that? We sell people on a dream, business that they can make it. Yet deep down inside, what do we really know? Yeah, we know that the reality is that most of them aren't going to make it. This is usually what I call hard evidence. 
some of you might be making the argument that this was recorded in 2005, it's old now, it's, it's outdated. But, you know, you can't really use that argument because the Herbalife executives spotted in this video are still in those positions today. So, yeah. That is not our message and you're not. People call this company a pyramid scheme and rightfully so. That is l quite basically what this company's business model is. Now, these companies are officially called MLMs, also known as multi-level marketing companies. Now, now, I did a little digging just to find out all the startup fees that would, you know, come with this company, but the fees are as follows. You have to pay to join the company. You need to pay to get your hands on your products. You need to pay to become a certified health coach at a nutrition club, which is basically just paying to learn how to make shakes. Then you need to pay to attend a monthly meeting in which you're evaluated for your sales of the month. Now allow me to elaborate on that. You pay your boss so that you can attend a meeting in which your sales and your work is evaluated. Now that just, that just doesn't make any sense. Absolutely no sense at all. You should never pay to have your boss tell you how you're doing in the company. It's in his best interest for you to do well in the company. And if you're an Herbalife distributor and you're saying to yourself, this is not a pyramid scheme, that is absurd. How about we take the word from one of the members of your president's team who gave her secret to success within Herbalife. The secret is to get five other people to do the same thing every month and teach them to get five other people to do the same thing every month. Before you know it, not only will you be a supervisor, but you'll have five supervisors under you, we'll have five supervisors under them, we'll have five supervisors under them. The secret is to recruit five people and then get those five people to recruit five people and so on and so forth. Is that all I was gonna say on this one? Yeah. Sorry about that uh i got a little bit excited but you know it's just i you know no i'm not sorry i've been working on this for a long time and uh i'm just excited for it to be over because working on the same project for forever is just not it's not healthy now i'll admit that this point is incredibly opinionated nonetheless it's still another reason you really shouldn't join this company because ultimately it's annoying and what i'm referring to is the motivational spam that these Herbalife independent distributors promote on social media. Now, in regards to promoting on social media, that's fine. I recommend you do that. It's a great way to reach customers. It's a great way to grow your business. But if you're gonna promote something, then promote it. Pay to promote your product. That's business. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. If I see that you've paid for this promotion, then I don't mind. I don't mind at all. So when you're just posting product promotions on your own personal page without putting any money towards advertising, that tells me that you're specifically trying to target people you know because they trust you and are more likely to sign up. And then there's the whole fact that you guys claim that this, ch this has changed your lives. This is something that has come 360 completely changed my life. Sure, you started living a healthier lifestyle and exercising more. That's good, good. But what you need to stop doing is convincing people that this business opportunity changed your life. That the opportunity that Herbalife offered you changed your life. Now, you know, I'm aware that uh, me preaching this stuff won't really change much. If anything, I am just here to inform people who are unaware of what this company has really done. However, I'd like to quote one of the last things an Herbalife independent distributor said to me. Don't stay small-minded for too long, bud. Could hurt you in the long run. I'm over you and your negativity, though, so go and do something more productive. LOL. And in response to that, I'd like to say, I think I just did.